Ghost Man Strange, A of the Ann, human is a common motif motif in mythology, folklore, and popular fiction. The term avians usually refers to an alleged alien species. In 1962, on a desolate, a desolate sketch of French Road, a businessman claimed to have encountered a gang of aggressive bird-like beings, which not only blocked his car but allegedly attacked him. The first account of this utterly Unique Close Encounter was published in 1968 in the volume 14, number 6, November to December issue of the Flying Saucer Review. The report came from a man who was at the time described as a young researcher from the southern part of France named Leleo Tegoro. According to Tegoro, a witness who would be referred to only as Mr. S, was a, was a solidly, solidly Built man in his fifties, who ran an important garage in Hallerholt, France. Togogo interviewed the perturbed eyewitness, who, under the strict conditions of anonymity, confined his perplexing tale to the young ufologist. Here is the witness's account of the event, which is translated by John C. Hagel and published in the S.F. S.R. under the title Strange Encounter in VAR. Like all good tales of terror, this one begins on a dark and stormy night. One evening in November 1962, I was driving along a minor departure de- de- road in VAR. It was a dark night and raining in torrents, so that I was driving with my lights full on. The trip had been thus far uneventful, but it would st- soon take a literal turn to twilight zone, according to the observer. Round in the bend, I saw 80 metres, just over 260 feet, ahead a group of figures clustered in the middle of the road. I slowed down to avoid the group. At the same moment, it split into two parts, sunning and jerkily. It was then that Mr. S noticed there was something decisively unnatural about the mob of jaywalkers blocking his path. My wind was down, I leaned my head out slightly to see what was the matter. It was then as I saw beasts, some kind of some kind of bizarre animals, with the heads of birds and covered with a sort of plumage which were, were hurling themselves from two sides towards my car, this petrifying conf- confrontation of unknown and unsightly violent creatures would be more than enough to disturb anyone. But when the, the things seemed to have reached maximum levels of high strangeness, it took a f- turn to downright bizarre. Terrified, I wound up the window, accelerated like a madman, and stepped 150 metres, approximately 500 feet further on. I turned around and saw these things, these beasts, these black marriage sort of beings, which were heading was sort of flapping or wings towards a numerous dark ob- blue object which hung on the air, hung in the air after f- over a field the other side of the road. Mr. S then described this extraordinarily extraterrestrial vehicle in more detail. It resembled two plates upside down and placed on one another as if a flock of attacking birdmen, a hovering UFO, were not. St- Strain the sanity, even of the hardest individual. Miss Vest put the probable cherry on the Sunday with his final observations. On reaching it, the UFO, the birds were literally sucked into the underpart of the machine, as if by a whirlwind. Then I heard a dull sound. Then the object flew off at prodigious speed and finally disappeared. It seems strange that these bipedal bird creatures were sucked into flying saucer. Rather than climbing back inside, it happens that the most occupant, occupant reports, as bizarre as this may sound, one almost can help but wonder whether these beasts were actually piloting UFO seen by Mr. S, or they represent some kind of alien pets, or even food, food, a source, kind of an equivalent into electrical free range chickens, or all which terrestrials. Have to have got to eat too. Twilinko Kotrogo, 
Mr. S was not interested in UFO phenomena or making his story public, simply to for fear of being mad, even though the witness had no interest in pursuing the origins. Even if the witness had no more interest in pursuing the origins of these creatures, the rest of us have left the control room. What the heck did his middle-aged garage manager see the rain-drenched E back in 1962? The SR story, considering this, this was back in 1968, with his daunting task to correlate such the desperate counts felt that this story was important, especially a light of the Mothman report filed by, filed by John Keel in the magazine, who in the magazine's July August 1968 edition. Explanations In 19, in 1849, Sir Hen, Austin Henry layered English archaeologist and global explorer found himself among the ruins of ancient Babylon in southern Mesopotamia. There he discovered the first pieces would eventually become the archaeological most controversial puzzles, cinnamon form tablets. The idea that this ancient civilization knew the distant star systems and in, in, had in, in, acted with extraterrestrial life was hardly with conversation controversial researcher and author named Zikaria Stiktrin, his ancient alien theory, contributes to the beginnings of Mesopotamia society, a race of bird-like beings known as An Akura, who travelled from distant twelfth planet named Urubu. Sinchen argues that there was a uh, Sabrian text which tells the story of the fifty Akuru inhabitants of the, of the planet named Nuru came to Earth approximately 400,000 years ago, a tent of lining raw materials, especially gold, for transport back to Nuru. With a small number, they soon grew tired of the task and set out to direct the engineer laborers, laborers to work the mines. After much trial and error, they eventually created Homo sapiens, Adapter, Homo man, or Adam, or later mythology. Sitchin contended the Akara, that were active in human affairs to a sculpture destroyed by global catastrophe caused the abrupt end of the ice last ice age some 12,000 years ago. Seeing that humans survived and all they had, they had built was destroyed, a cura left earth after giving humans the opportunity and means to govern themselves. Such work was not received mainstream scholarly support and been roundly criticised by professionals who renewed, uh, renewed his hypothesis.